Hey everyone, it's Ben and today we're going to take a look at the Going Gear exclusive version of one of my favorite EDC blades. I've never reviewed it before, but I've carried it quite a bit when I'm in and out of testing and carrying other knives. Today we're going to look at that, plus again, like I said, the Going Gear exclusive of the Benchmade 940, a very, very popular everyday carry knife, coming up right now on Living Survival. So this is the Benchmade 940, a rugged everyday carry pocket knife. This is the 940 version. There are several different versions out there, including an exclusive that we're gonna look at in a moment. This one has the green aluminum uh, handles on it with the purple backspacer. As you can see, I've just beat the crap out of this knife. I've seen people that have used this knife for years and years and years. There's no paint left on their pocket clip. You know, the uh, aluminum gets all beat up, but that's the great thing about a knife like this is that you can count on it, you can beat it up. I've used this for lots of different tasks, whether I'm just you know, shaving some wood off a two by four, or even since I'm remodeling my house, I'm, I'm, I've used it as a chisel before, I've used it as a screwdriver, and of course all the uh, just regular everyday tasks that you would use for slicing. I've used it to cut out labels, cut cordage, cut rope. Uh, I've even used this as my dinner knife. Another thing that I really like about Benchmade knives is the access lock. So for someone like me that's a lefty, I can flick that out, flick it back in. I can even use the access lock here to flick it out, flick it back in. I really like that. It comes out lightning quick and you can just shut it right away with that access lock. So no matter if you're right-handed or left-handed, you can use uh, the access lock on either side there. The lock up on this knife is rock solid very very little movement left to right no movement up and down now the centering is off just a hair i mean if you were being really picky the uh, centering is off just a little bit but nothing that rubs nothing that really bothers me we've got a little bit of uh, traction here a little bit of jimping on the back there you have a little bit more down here on the underneath so you really get a great purchase on this knife so s30v on this model of the 940 and again i've beaten the crap out of this knife i mean i've taken it and i've stabbed it into you know wood i've used it for different wood tasks i've used it for all different types of edc tasks it takes a beating and certainly keeps on going so i like that uh, s30v steel there it's got the satin finish you can also get it in a serrated and i believe you can also get it in a black coating as well 7.8 inches overall i believe it's 4.47 inches when it's closed and then you have 3.4 inch blade again you have the green aluminum handles which look awesome once they start to get worn in a little bit and then you have this really cool purple backspacer with a nice durable clip. It isn't really too deep carry, but it doesn't stick out very far. I like the fact that it's a thick pocket clip, so you know when it's in your pocket. You know, I know just by uh, just the way it feels in my pocket, if it's there or not. And I honestly, as I do with most EDC knives, I feel lost without it on me. Weight wise, you got 2.9 ounces, so it's pretty light. You can flip the clip left and right, tip up only. So you got that access lock on the other side, which I really, really like. You do also have the dual thumb studs, so not only can you open it just with a flick there of the uh, access lock, but you can also open it just with the fl a flick of the thumb. So this is the Going Gear exclusive, what I feel is the best exclusive version of the 940 out there. Similar in dimensions and similar, similar in uh, blade style, but that's about where the similarities end. You do have access lock on both knives, so again, you can flick it out. You can uh, open and close it with the access lock. Now the centering on this knife is absolutely perfect. You can't really get any more perfect than that. You have the red thumb studs, which is really sweet. And you have this red C-Tech inlay there on the G10 handles. Again, it comes in a little bit lighter weight there because of the handles and because you're, you don't have that purple backspacer. You just have these red pin spacers in there. A little bit different pocket clip on it. So this one comes in at 2.49 ounces versus the 2.9 of the original. And you can feel the difference when you pick this knife up. It is a little bit uh, less weight. It does, doesn't feel quite as rugged as although i know it is it does have a little bit different uh blade steel on it if we can get the camera to focus here you can see cpm 20 cv so a little bit uh different blade now i am able to get this one sharper quicker and this one is just absolutely just deadly sharp so you got that reverse tanto as well 
and I'm I'm not even uh, you know I haven't even carried this or haven't even used it because it's just so pretty it's one of those knives that is strictly a backup for me I don't have many holy grail knives that I hang on to and don't use I really I really don't think I have more than like one or two holy grail knives that I just don't use but this is certainly one of them and that comes from having a bunch of use in a particular design of knife and then you can spring for something that's a little bit nicer looking and a little bit more upgraded like the going gear exclusive give you guys a closer look at that inlay there just super unique super sick looking you got the sculpted g10 there with this little pattern in it which is really cool and then again a little bit different uh, dlc coated pocket clip there those red spacers those red back spacers are just sick just overall just a sick looking knife definitely a conversation piece if you were to pull this thing out and uh you know like i said razor razor sharp again i really love the axis lock when it comes to bench made knives like i said you can either flick it out with a thumbstead or you can just get you know get good at flicking it out with the uh, axis lock itself it's very easy to deploy you pull it out of your pocket and you can just deploy it right away so i really like that it's really fun to play with comes out lightning fast and just a fantastic EDC knife something if you're if you want to get into a serious EDC knife and don't really want to worry about you know having a thousand dollar knife that you're never going to use which I would never have you know a couple hundred dollars is about the max that I'm willing to spend on an EDC knife but in this case I think it's worth it and again if you don't want to uh, spend the money and get the uh, exclusive version Going Gear certainly has the regular version which works just as well just a little bit heavier I love it. Now if you're anything like me and you're out and about, you don't always have the proper tool for the job and what do you do? You reach for your EDC blade. So a lot of those cheaper blades out there aren't going to be up to the task of performing some of those duties that you may require it to do. I've been underneath a deck before or in a crawl space. Just the other day I was repairing my pool and I had some of this tubing on me and it was leaking. I had to get it cut quick and I had to stick the adapter on. And you know, this is some thick tubing. I mean, I can't even squeeze this as hard as I try. And the Benchmade had really no problem. I mean, you know, that is some tough stuff to stick a tip of a blade in. And then I was able to just sort of work my way around and cut right through this tubing. I mean, that is some tough stuff there. And I was able to just slice it. Even when you get to the end here, there's a more rigid, I think it's like plastic piece in there that you gotta get through. And the uh, Benchmade went right through it. Did take me some time, but I was able to get right through it. Another thing that I was doing was some electrical wiring. And of course, you know, you want to have the right tools for the job. I was just using my knife though. I didn't have a razor blade on me to uh, open up my wires here. It worked no problem. Get my wires out here and hook up my switches and outlets that I was hooking up. Another thing that I used it for, definitely shouldn't do this. I don't recommend doing it. Again, working on the pool and I had to get one of these clamps off here. So I did take my knife and I was using that to adjust the screw enough so that I could pull the pipe off. So, you know, irregular EDC tasks are something you might face, especially if you're in a tight spot, you don't have help and you just want to rely on your knife. This is the torture that I put this through this knife through and it continues to shine day in and day out. So when my knives get super beat up and sticky, especially cutting through that sticky tubing or cutting through tape, I'll just take a little bit of Goo Gone, apply it to the knife. Then I'll just take some of this uh, tool oil here, just a, a kind of a multi-purpose tool oil and just rub it down with that. Grab my ceramic ceramic rod here just give it a couple of swipes back and forth on that then she's back in great shape ready to go again so now you can see why it makes such a great 
blade for everyday carry purposes. The steel is tough, the axis lock is tough. I like everything that Benchmade puts into their knives, especially since I'm left-handed. I like the fact that it's ambi with the uh, axis lock there. Tip up carry, I mean, what's not to like about this knife? It's about the perfect size. I've used it from everything from uh, you know, cutting up steaks and cutting up my dinner, using it as my uh, dinner knife to, of course, everyday carry purposes, cutting cordage, cutting straps, cutting uh, cardboard, cutting, you know, slicing paper, slicing other things. I've used it to slice out labels. I've used it, uh, you know, to uh, as a screwdriver even. I know you're not supposed to do that, but the steel is tough enough. I've used it to take out screws before when I've needed that. I have no problems with the design, no problems with the tip. I absolutely love the 940 version. There are several other exclusive versions out there, but I really like the Going Gear exclusive with that SeaTac inlay and the uh, red backspacers. It looks sweet. I haven't even been used it I'm you know beating the crap out of my original version this one just sits as more of a collector item and a backup since I like this model so much but there are several different other models out there I know there's a carbon fiber model out there there's one with G10 uh, handle scales out there and they're all different prices so if you want the best version of the 940 that I truly believe is out there check out the going gear version I'm gonna put a link below to their website where you guys can pick one up for themselves if you want the original version save yourself some money uh, I'll put a link below to uh, to that as well so hope you guys enjoyed the video today please give it a big thumbs up for me make sure you share this video to your friends and family on your social media and as always click that red subscribe button subscribe to my channel for more videos